We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Hey everyone, it's Blue here from Blue Bears Games, and this video starts a four-week adventure of unboxing and upgrading the four Lord of the Rings Commander Precons. I will begin with the Food and Fellowship Precon and work my way through the rest week by week randomly until they are all done. This Precon is black, white, and green, also known as Abzin, and is helmed by the partner commanders of Frodo Adventurous Hobbit and Sam Loyal Attendant. First things first, let's go over what these two do. Frodo is a 2-mana 1-3 legendary halfling scout that partners with Sam Loyal Attendant and has Vigilance and whenever it attacks, if you've gained 3 or more life this turn, the ring tempts you. Then, if Frodo is your ring bearer and the ring has tempted you 2 or more times this game, you draw a card. Not everyone knows what the ring tempts you means or what a ring bearer is, and that's kind of important for this whole series of decks, so I will leave a link to the MTG Wiki article that explains this mechanic fully in the description of the video. Sam Loyal Attendant is a 3 mana legendary halfling peasant that partners with Frodo Adventurous Hobbit and has two other abilities. The first ability states that at the beginning of combat of your turn, you simply create a food token. And the second ability states that activated abilities of foods that you control cost one generic mana less to activate. Going by the name of the precon and the abilities of the two generals for the deck, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that its theme will be centered around food tokens and life gain. I know, I know, I'm really taking a big leap on that one, huh? You never know though, especially with Wizards precons, so the only way to find out is to crack this bad boy open and see just exactly what they put in it. Before I do rip this bad boy open and show you what's inside though, I want to take a moment to let you know that if you're in the market for an awesome looking deck box, playmat, or sleeves, please visit our sponsor at arcane-fortress.com and take a look at what they have. Their deck boxes are some of the best I've ever used, and you can even get an additional 5% off of your entire purchase if you use discount code BLUEBEAR at checkout. If you want to take a closer look at their deck boxes, check out the link that just popped up on the top of your screen right now. That link will take you to the review I did of their Hidden Island deck box so you can see how it looks and all of its features. Now, let's get to it and see what's in the box. Alright, here is what the outside of the box looks like. It has Frodo and Samwise on the front cover together, but it only has Frodo as the face commander, but this is a partner deck. And then this is the back of the box. And that's not really that important. What's important is what's inside. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I'll show you everything inside. I have not opened these before, and I don't know exactly what's in them, so this will be a first for both of us. All right. So let me pull everything out, or let it all fall out, one of the two. <laughs> Here's that. This is the collector's pack. All right. The insert that comes with it has plus one, plus one counters on most of it, except for that. And then on the top, another couple plus one, plus one counters. And again, these crappy dividers that I don't really know what to do, and nobody has told me what they've found to use for them yet either, but they come with it. That's disappointing, but we'll go from there. The box, let me construct that. This is the deck box that comes with the precon. If I can get it to actually fold out all the way. There we go. Here's the front. There's the side with the three colors, Frodo and Samwise on the back, and then again, another one with the three colors. So that's what the box looks like. And again, I've mentioned it before, I'm happy that they started using the vertical boxes instead of the horizontal boxes, because the ones that they create for, that are horizontal kind of suck. Here's the life wheel. It is generic, so black with just a couple of symbols for the Planeswalker symbol. So that's nice. The insert, is there anything different on the insert this time? It is oriented differently, but that's about it. So it has Frodo, Adventure, Hobbit, and Sam Lil attended on the top with the extra commander rules. And then on the back, it's not even a poster. But, oh, and it has a little description of the magic colors and what they kind of represent. So that's cool. All right, throw that aside. Then we've got the collector's booster sample pack, and then we have the deck itself. So let's open the sample pack first. Maybe I'll get something good out of this one, but I doubt it. Alright, throw that away, zoom in a little bit, and let's see what we get. Alright, so we got Witch King of Angmar in foil, and then we got Shire Sheriff. Actually, this one, they're both foil, which is unusual, I didn't think they were both going to be foil. That's what I got out of the sample pack for the collector's boosters. I'll have the prices up there, but we're here for this, so let me open it up. And we'll show you everything inside. 
All right, split it in half to make it easier to uh, go over. Now, I already showed you what Frodo does, and I already showed you what Sam does. So we'll skip them, and we'll just go into the deck. So the rest of the deck are the 98. Starts with Eagles of the North, and I'm not going to read every card to you. If you want to read it, pause the video. So it goes Eagles of the North. Landroval Horizon Witness. Rosie Cotton of South Lane. I've heard that this is a pretty good card. Shire Sheriff. So didn't we just get one of those in foil from the collector's pack? Merkwood Bats, one of the new cards that I actually really like. I like a token theme, so that's a good card for me. Generous Ent. Path to Exile. Swords to Plowshares, so good removal. Revive the Shire. We'll just say Butter Bree Innkeeper. Crypt Incursion. That's a reprint. Go for the Throat is a reprint. Night's Whisper is a reprint. These are reprints, but they have new art for the Lord of the Rings lore. Cultivate. Essence Warden. Farseek. Great Oak Guardian. Harmonize. That's a reprint. Orchard Strider. Prosperous Innkeeper. Shire Terrace. Tireless Provisioner. It's a good reprint. Mortify for more removal. Savvy Hunter. Arcane Signet. Commander's Sphere. Pristine Talisman. That's pretty cool. Nice reprint. That's what the Soul Ring for this deck looks like. They might all look like that. Field Tested Frying Pan, which is kind of a funny name. The Gaffer. Guahir, Greatest of the Eagles. Of Herbs and Stewed Rabbit. Weird. But it is Lord of the Rings lore. Gollum, Obsessed Stalker. Lobelia, Defender of the Bag End. Rapacious Guest. Assemble the Etmoot. Feasting Hobbit. Motivated Pony. Prize Pig. <laughs> Banquet Guests. Bilbo Birthday Celebrant. This is that one that I think that if you have a hundred and something, yeah. It says Exile Birthday. Bilbo Birthday Celebrant to search your library for any number of creature cards. Put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle and activate only if you have 111 or more life. That's pretty funny. Farmer Cotton. Mary Warden of Isengard. <coughs> Pippin, Warden of Isengard. Treebeard, Gracious Host. Hithlin Rope. Is that how that's said? Call of Unity. Dawn of Hope is a reprint. Dust to Dawn, another reprint. Fell the Mighty. Fumigate. Mentor of the Meek. Sanguine Bond. Huh. I guess that makes sense if you're gaining life with all the food tokens that this creates. Why not have Sanguine Bond in here? Alright, Toxic Deluge, really good reprint. I'm actually happy to see that as a reprint. Birds of Paradise. Gilded Goose. Woodfall Primus. Anguished Unmaking. Chromatic Lantern. Very good for a three-color deck. Trading Post. Well of Dreams. And Brushland. We're starting to hit some of the lands here. Canopy Vista. Exotic Orchard. Fortified Village. Isolated Chapel. Murmuring Bosk. To actually, I don't see that printed often, but that is a reprint. Necroblossom Snarl. So, Budget Dual Lands. Scattered Grove. Shine Shadow Snarl. Sun Petal Grove. Good reprint from... I like, I like the check lands. Woodland Cemetery. Another check land. Access Tunnel. Ash Barrens. There's the Command Tower. Evolving Wilds, Ghost Quarter, 
Grey Pelt Refuge, Path of Ancestry, Rogue's Passage, Sandstep Citadel, this is the original Trilands before Triomes, Scoured Barrens, looks like we're hitting the basic lands now, so swamps, plains, swamps, forests, and then, so I'm wondering how they did this with partners, this is the Frodo thick card, but did they give us a Sam one? I don't think they did. It doesn't feel like it. Nope, they didn't. So here's the uh, the tokens. So we got tree folk, birds, soldiers, treasures. Where's the foods? There's the ring that I have how it works linked in the description. So if you want to look at that real quick and pause the video, you can. And then on the other side, it's the ring tempts you information. So again, if you want to pause, you can read that. And then on the other side, that's just a how to play. We've got halflings foods there they are i was gonna say this is a food deck goat tokens more food tokens and that my hobbit loving friends is what was in the lord of the rings food and fellowship commander precon i was right that this deck is centered around food tokens and life gain but what i didn't expect was that it also has a creature token go wide with overrun style of effects sub theme thrown in as well it's a little scattered as far as what it wants to do but it does look like a lot of fun to play I wish that it focused more on the food aspect and had a way to win with them specifically, but I'm not sure that's even possible given that they are about life gain and not life loss. While the deck out of the box functions, I think that it's trying to do what it wants to do less efficiently and effectively as I believe it could. Fortunately, tomorrow I will be releasing an upgrade guide for this deck, and hopefully I can fix some of the problems, so please be sure to join me for that. Sadly, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching, and if you could, please do me the favor of giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet, sharing this out to anyone you think would enjoy it or get something out of it, and visiting our sponsor at arcane-fortress.com and using discount code BLUEBEAR for an additional 5% off your order if you decide to purchase anything from them. Now go and watch some of my many other videos, then I will see you tomorrow for the upgrade guide.